And in the interview with Steve Croft of 60 Minutes, President Obama revealed new details on how the terror group ISIS used the chaos and confusion of the Syrian civil war to rebuild its own force and why he concluded that the new U.S. strategy had to include a military component. Here's part of the interview. How did they end up where they are in control of so much territory? Was that a complete surprise to you? Well, uh, I think uh, our head of uh, the intelligence community, uh, Jim Clapper, has acknowledged that I think they underestimated uh, what had been taking place in Syria. Uh, essentially what happened with ISIL was that you had uh, Al-Qaeda in Iraq, which was a vicious group, but our Marines were able to quash with the help of Sunni tribes. They went back underground. But over the past a couple of years, during the chaos of the Syrian civil war, where essentially you have huge swaths of the country that are completely ungoverned, they were able to reconstitute themselves and take advantage of that chaos and attract foreign fighters who believed in their jihadist nonsense uh, and uh, traveled everywhere from Europe to the United States to Australia to uh, uh, other parts of the Muslim world converging on Syria. And so this became ground zero for jihadists around the world. And they've been very savvy in terms of their social media. Uh, in some cases, you have old remnants of Saddam Hussein's uh, military that had been expunged from the Iraqi military, uh, which gave them some traditional military capacity and not just terrorist capacity. And this is one of the challenges that we're going to have generally is where you've got states that are failing or in the midst of civil war, these kinds of organizations thrive. That's why it's so important for us to recognize part of our solution here is going to be military. We just have to push them back and shrink their and go after their command and control and their capacity and their weapons and their fueling and cut off their financing and work to eliminate uh, the flow of foreign fighters. But what we also have to do is we have to come up with political solutions in Iraq and Syria in particular, but in the Middle East generally, that arise in an accommodation between uh, Sunni and Shia populations that right now are the biggest cause of conflict, uh, not just in the Middle East, but in the world. You, you mentioned James Clapper, the director of national intelligence. I mean, he, he didn't just say that we underestimated ISIL. He said we overestimated the ability and the will of our allies, the Iraqi army, to fight. That's true. That's absolutely true. 